smell that? That's action of brewing because we are at Rudskogen Motor Center. This is the hottest track in Norway. We are here with Porsche Center Oscar Bottom. Tons of Porsches just on the other side of the wall. We are here in the pit lane before the action kicks off. It's the quiet before the storm, if you will. And we are gonna bring it today because we are shooting cars on tracks. I'm gonna try to give you guys some tips. I don't know, I feel like I'm kind of faking until I'm making it, but I've got some tips, some stuff that I know objectively will work and make your track photography a little bit better, and maybe some stuff that I'll carry over to the street. So uh, let's get at it. Tip number one, first things first, location, location, location. Do your research, get to know the track, get to know where the straights are, where there's gonna be the heaviest G-force and which turns, get to know where the elevation is because you're gonna be using your legs a lot to move around this track. This track is 3.2 kilometers long. That's a lot of walking if you're not prepared. So, find the pit lane. Find the start stop straight. Easy place to get some panning shots, some really fast off, a lot of action. Not so much action right now, but it'll come. I promise, don't worry. Figure it out, do your research, pick two or three spots that you know are gonna work. For example, here, we have the start, stop, straight, if you will. The potential for a DRS zone. The fastest part of the track. And because of that, there's gonna be a lot of passing because this is a good opportunity for fast cars to get past slow cars. So if you want multiple cars in the shot, if you want a little bit more action, this is where it's at. So, find the biggest straight, hang out, do some pants, this, lucky enough that we can get right up to it. We can hang out over the lane. A little bit sketchy. Cool. <laughs> also, uh, I can tell already this turn over here, a little bit downhill. Before any cars get out here, before I get a little bit stressed, it's nice to go out and see these things. So this turn, a little bit downhill, very tight, very high speed. There's a lot of tracks that sort of come out of the track boundaries. So I know there's gonna be a lot of G-forces, a lot of people desperately trying to hang in there while the cars are leaning. So shoot with the tight lens, get the cars leaning. It's gonna be super dramatic, a lot of really cool photos. That's step one. <laughs> Another little handy tip is stick a polarizer on the front of the lens because it's going to help you shoot through the windshield and in moments like this where everybody's just hanging out in their cars ready to go. A lot of tension is getting built, a lot of really focused faces, a lot of drama, some cool conversations within the car. So it's nice to be able to shoot in there and get some faces and recognize some of the personalities that are behind the car, not just people standing around talking about them. So that's what I'm going to do now, bounce around, get some tension see some really anxious faces, some people ready to go, some people maybe not so ready to go. <laughs> people are so frantic trying to figure out the harnesses now. So we'll just move down the line and keep shooting. So I'm gonna mix two tips here. Two, straight off the bat. One, bring a long lens. This is a 7200F 2.8. I'm not gonna use 2.8 probably. It's a little too risky. You're gonna miss a lot of shots, but I am gonna keep it at high aperture. And this takes me to point number three, is to get a little creative, right? Shoot some pans. Panning is when you track the car in the camera, you keep the same speed as the car, and if your shutter speed is low enough, the background should be blurred, right? because you're moving, the background's moving through the photo, but the car isn't. So instead of getting motion blur on the car, you're getting motion blur on the background. And what that does is it pushes your focus towards the car, right? The one thing that is in focus and is crystal clear. Panning is gonna help you push that focus straight in to the subject of the photo. And that's what we want, because we're here to shoot some of the coolest cars in the world, right? We don't want everything perfectly clean. We just want everything to be a little bit more focused on the car. That's it. Another tip, leave it on burst. 
It's gonna be really hard to get one off panning shot that's gonna be really tricky. Another tip, you're here, you're shooting something extremely cool, right? A lot of action, a lot of cars, a lot of movement. It's overwhelming, you can already hear it. There's excitement in the air. One thing you have to remind yourself is to really focus on the basics. The rules of photography still apply here, so remember the relationship between shutter speed, ISO, and aperture, very important. So in the beginning, don't try to get too creative. Shoot the basics. Learn all the settings, understand where the sun is coming from and how much light you need to work with, because that's gonna be important when you start to play later on. Stick to the basics. So when it comes to location, racetracks are huge, huge. Like I said before, it's 3.2 kilometers long. That's very long. Use your legs, go out, find new stuff. I'm shooting on burst right now and I regret it, but it's very useful. The only problem is when you shoot on burst, you get about a thousand photos of the same exact spot. You get so many photos and when it comes to post, it's going to suck to have to go through all that. So, move, find new angles, find new spots on the track. For example, from here, we get a really harsh turn. We get a lot of drama, a lot of action. A lot of people are gonna be fighting, duking it out in that turn, but we get to shoot down on it, which is kind of cool, something. So not all photos need to be right at eye level with the car. You can shoot a little bit down, get a little bit more detail from the top down and it sort of splits the cars up a little bit and gives them some space to breathe on their own. So, use your legs. Not just one location, many locations. Keep hunting. Right now, while I have a really like basic photos, things that just show the car in action, I wanna try to frame it in a more fun way. So, I'm using this grid here to put more focus on just particular areas of the photo and try to line up the car right in the middle of one of the holes. Like this one. So because it's so sunny, we have so much light to play with. And that's the keys, you have to play with it. It's very direct, there's no clouds, it's very harsh, it's very mean, and it's very hard to use, but it's key that we move around and we try to put the cars in different sort of lights. So right here, I'm gonna try to put the cars backlit and just see what it looks like. Try to get the silhouette, try to put them right in the sunspot on the track. Just play around, see what we can find. The idea is to take so many photos that you learn from it, right? And with this kind of light, it's best you try to learn. So, harsh light. Play around, let's see what's going on. And now we wait. For a racetrack, these cars are pretty slow. <laughs> That's it, that's all. <laughs> Some people aren't done yet, but we are. And my God, it has been hot today, but it's even hotter on the track, and the photos are gonna be even hotter. I'm excited. Today was a hell of a day. <laughs> it was super loud. We went really fast. We took some sick photos. I think we tested ourselves a little bit, so I think we pushed ourselves in terms of photography, so. I'm really excited to see what we end up with. Let's get to the editing. <laughs> How cool do I look? I feel 
feel pretty cool. I feel chubby. <laughs>